In this video, we'll be showing you how to easily create, edit, and manage your grids, as well as how to align objects in your PCB. Let's begin by opening a blank PCB document and clicking on the Home tab. Looking at the rightmost part of the ribbon, we notice the Grids and Units section. All the information needed for managing grids is neatly consolidated here. First, set your origin and select a step size for your snap grid. You can do this with the snap grid pull down for commonly used values, or we can click on set global snap grid to enter in an exact value of your choosing. Once that's taken care of, let's click on the grids pull down menu. As you can see, there are many snapping options that you might want to take a look at later. Clicking on grids from the pull down grids menu will open up the grids manager. This is the home base for creating and editing your grids. Creating polar and Cartesian grids is simple. Click on Menu, Add Cartesian Grid, and a new Cartesian grid is instantly added to your grid manager. A Cartesian grid is distinguished by the letter C to the left of the grid field name. Double-clicking on the Cartesian grid entry will bring up the Cartesian grid editor. Use the options in the Steps region to specify the sizing of the grid. The Step X and Step Y fields define the distance between the grid lines in the X and Y planes respectively. By default, the two fields are linked, as indicated by the continuous chain depicted on the button to the right of the fields. In this state, whatever you specify for the Step X field will be copied and used for the Step Y field. To break this link and enter step sizes individually, simply click this button. The button will now depict a broken chain, and the Step Y field will become available for editing. Use the options in the Extents region to specify the extents of the grid, in terms of width and height. By default, the two fields are linked, creating a square grid. In the Display region, you can change the visual appearance of the grid in the workspace. Two levels can be defined, fine and coarse. The former is a display of the grid markers using the defined step sizes. The latter is simply a display of grid markers spaced at a multiple of the defined step sizes. We're done here, so let's select OK. When working with multiple grids, which grid a component or trace snaps to is designated by a priority system. Each local placement grid you create and define is given a numbered priority. By default, each new grid is given the highest priority of 1, with all existing grids moved down in priority accordingly. Check the COMP box to allow the grid to be visible and applied for both ordinary and component actions. Next, click OK to exit the grid manager and return to the PCB. Now that we've sorted out our grid, let's talk about alignment. Let's place some components on our newly constructed grid. Highlight the objects you want to align and click the Tools tab and then Align, Align Vertical Centers. Click on the component you want the others to conform to and instantly your components will be aligned. Although we have our components aligned, the spacing isn't right, so let's fix it. Go to Align, Align Horizontally, making sure that your components are still selected. You can adjust the spacing between components within the Align drop-down menu. There are many alignment options that you should definitely check out and explore on your own.